Hi, welcome to the next video of this section. In this video, we will cover about set, hash set and also tree set. So firstly, set is basically an interface that we will explore in this video. Along with this, we will check out its implementation such as tree set and also hash set. So within our application, I have simply modified my code. Down below here, I have mentioned set is basically an interface. So to implement the set within our application, we can just use the set interface and then pass in the type parameter what kind of elements you want within your set. For now, let us use integer. Well, you can create a set for the string values or boolean values and even the char values. It is totally up to your wish. But right now, I will create the set of integer. And now, let us use a variable name as hash set. Why? Just because on the right, we are going to create the object of its implementation. For example, since the set is the interface, so it is basically implemented by the class of hash set and also tree set. But right now, let us use hash set. So create the new object of the hash set and then let us add some element within our set by using the add method such as 23, then 4, then let us add 4 again, add it for the third time and in the end, let us add 10. Perfect. Now unlike array list, in case of set, the elements are unordered. That is, there is no guarantee that these elements are present in sequence in which they were inserted. And also, the set cannot store the duplicate elements. That is, even if I have inserted the element 4 thrice, it will actually ignore these two 4 values. That is, no duplicate entry is allowed within your set. If you don't trust me, let me show you by printing out the values. So for that, I will use the for loop and then print out the element with a space in between. Perfect. Launch the application. And there we go, we got 4, 23 and 10 in the output console. So this shows that even if the 4 was inserted thrice, it is only present within the set as once. And also there is no guarantee of the sequence in which the number were inserted. For example, 23 was inserted first, but now it is present in the second position. So that is why the set is known as the unordered collection with no duplicate entries. Now what about the tree set? So let us explore it as well. So down below here, let us define our tree set. So for that again, let us use the interface of set first and again use the integer. Create the object of the tree set and now let us add the same elements like we have added it here and change it to tree set. And then let us try to print out all the values within the tree set. And right here, let us give a new line and now launch the application and see the output. So in the output for the tree set, if you notice the duplicate entries were removed, that is four was only inserted once. Now also note that in case of tree set, the elements are now present in the sorted order, that is in the ascending order. So first we are getting four as the element, then 10 and then 23. Now in case if you right now add one more element such as one, then that one is smallest in nature. So this element will be appended in the first position. Launch the application. And there we go, we are getting 1, then 4, 10 and 23. So all the elements are now present in the sorted order by default in the ascending order. Perfect. Now along with all of these, you can also perform various operation on your hash set and also on your tree set. For example, let us perform some operation on our hash set. Such as, you can check if the hash set is empty or not. So it will return true if the set is empty. Now we have a function of contains that simply helps you to check if this element 10 is present within your set or not. So it simply returns true if the element is found within your set. And in case if you want to delete some element, so for that we have the method of remove. So it will simply remove 23 if found within your set. So it simply returns true if the element was found and deleted. And in case if you want to delete all the element, so for that we have a method of clear. So this simply deletes all the elements present within your set. So right now I will simply comment all of these methods. 
it was just for your extra information. Now there are a lot more things to be discussed in this video. For the set, has set, tree set and also the third implementation that is tree has set. But since this video is for beginners, so we will discuss more about set in our intermediate Java series. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we will check out what is map and hash map.